Hello, welcome to this educational video. My name is Sumaya. I am a diabetes nurse educator for adults at Sultan Qaboos University Hospital. This topic about insulin administration using an insulin pen. Insulin pen is a common treatment used by diabetes patients to control their blood sugar. Our main responsibility is to educate about insulin injection technique. Classification of insulin are as follow. Rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting insulin. Insulin pen are either ready to use type or refillable type. Ready used insulin pen cannot be reused, whereas the cartridge of refillable insulin pen should be changed after it's finished. Here are the insulin pen parts, the pen cap, rubber seal, insulin cartridge, dosage window, dosage knob, injection pattern. The pen needle consists of the outer cap, the inner cap, and the needle. To give insulin injection using an insulin pen, there are six important steps to follow. Step one, prepare the equipment. You will need insulin pen, new pen needle, a couple of alcohol swabs, and sharp container. Wash your hands with soap and warm water. Check the pen label to make sure that is the correct insulin type prescribed. Also, check the expiry and opening date before giving the injection. Take off the pen cap. Look at the pen window and check for its color. Some types of insulin are cloudy or white in color. You should mix cloudy insulin before use. To do this, put the insulin in a horizontal position and gently rotate between your palms 10 times. Then, turn the pen 10 times up and down. Do not shake vigorously because this will damage insulin. Step 2. Attach the pen needle. Take an alcohol swab and wipe the needle attachment point. Take a new pen needle and remove the protecting seal. Attach the needle to the pen by pushing the needle straight onto the pen. Turn the needle in a clockwise direction until it will not turn anymore. Remove the outer cap of the needle and keep it. You will need it after the injection. Then remove the inner cap and discard it. Step 3. Prime the needle. To do this, turn the injection button to dial 2 units. Turn the pen with the needle facing upward. Tap the pen window to have any air bubble move to the top of the pen. While keeping the pen with the needle facing upward, push the injection button all the way in. You should see the insulin coming out. Step 4. Select the dose. To select the dose, turn the dose adjustment knob to dial the appropriate dose that you want. In this example, we will be injecting 10 units of insulin. Step 5. Inject the insulin. Decide where you would like to give the injection. You can choose one from these sites. Middle outer aspect of the upper arms, abdomen, buttocks, middle outer aspect of the thighs. Once you have selected the injection sites, wipe the area with alcohol swab and make sure to let the area to dry completely before giving the injection. Insert the needle into the skin at 90 degree angle. With your thumb, press the injection button slowly until the full dose deliver or until the number in the window go back to zero. Before removing the needle, wait for 10 seconds or count to 10 slowly. Remove the needle straight away from the skin. Do not rub the skin after injection. If you see a drop of blood coming out, press gently at the site with cotton or clean tissue. Step 6. Dispose the pen needle. To discard the pen needle, scoop the outer cap of the needle. Unscrew the needle and take it off. Discard in a sharp container. Wash your hands and document in patient file. Before ending the video, I would like to highlight the following points. Insulin should be stored in a refrigerator at temperature between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Never freeze insulin. Priming the insulin pen is important to make sure there is no air bubble in the insulin and to ensure the full dose is received while injecting. If no insulin is coming out after 3 tries, attach a new needle and try again. You should rotate the insulin injection site to prevent lipohypertrophy which can interfere with the insulin absorption and cause poor sugar control. Avoid injecting insulin near to the scars or hypertrophy tissue. You can also use a 45 degree angle if you are using longer needle. 
This is to make sure that insulin is injected in the subcutaneous tissue instead of the muscle. You may use skin fold lift technique for very lean patients or if you are using a longer needle. Insulin pen needle cannot be reused and shouldn't be kept with the pen attached. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.